If in a perfect world, in a perfect world, sure, this would kind of make sense. Destroyers, cruisers, destroyer. It's more like destroyers and then battleships and then cruisers behind battleships. And then like sniping BBs. And if everybody's exactly where they need to be to, to you know, perform the best that they can and get the most out of their ships, this would make sense. But we know that's not true. We know that's not true. You give you give somebody range, they're gonna stay that range. And then you can you might as well give them one HP. Literally, you might as well give them one HP. Because what are they gonna do with their hundred thousand HP and, and armor and, and, and armor schemes and nothing? Nothing. How many times? How many times have you seen a guy in your or the enemy team? Ten minutes into the battle, it's il eleven of his teammates are dead. He's the last guy alive. He's a battleship, and he does not have a scratch on him, and he's running away. What happens to him? He dies faster than any of his teammates. Because suddenly he's facing the entire enemy team alone. And his HP, and his armor, and his range mean jack shit. Because now, all that HP and armor cannot be utilized. You know why? Because his teammates are dead. And now all the focus is on him. And when his team needed him to support them and to spread the damage that everybody is taking, he wasn't there. And then he dies with like four heals still up. Because the only one he got to use was first one. After he took the first 10-20k, he, he started healing, he democoned, and that was it. That was, that was pretty much the end of his fight. I've been trying to explain this to people and to wargaming for, since forever and it's never gonna happen. People simply do not understand this, they refuse to accept it, uh, they don't want to be the one up front uh, because they're afraid and why would they be the ones tanking? I mean, okay, if you're not gonna do it then who's gonna do it? If everybody thinks like you, who's gonna do it? Which, which BB line would you say is the best to practice this type of playstyle? Every BB line needs to be the one to take a portion of damage. If you are literally full HP and all you do is shooting, you're probably doing something wrong. Like, if 10 minutes of the game have passed and all you did was shoot, and you didn't have to worry about your HP, your consumables, and you're a battleship, you're probably playing it wrong and too safe. And that's that's where the magic happens. That That's one of the most hardest and challenging things in this game. It's not to learn how to shoot. It's not to learn this and that. It's literally to learn when to push, when to run. Because if you're full HP and you're... What is this guy even doing? You, you need to get closer. Why don't you smoke up, Fletcher? What is wrong with you? What the fuck was that? We sank an enemy destroyer. What the hell was that? Then you need to get closer. Because when people are shooting at you, they're not shooting at your teammates. And if they're not shooting at your teammates, and they're shooting at you, and you're not dying, and you're not losing too much HP, then you're wasting their time. Every 30 seconds, every 15 seconds, every 5 seconds that somebody pulls the trigger on you, they didn't pull the trigger on someone else. And if you're good at dodging and mitigating that damage, making sure to utilize your heals and damacons properly, then they're just shooting but nothing is really happening. And that's the difference between good and bad players. One off. One off. It's literally just how much focus fire can you take and still stay alive. 
Now, don't get me wrong, it's not about you just putting yourself out there to be literally uh, murdered and be like, yeah, no, I'm not talking about YOLOing. I'm talking about successful tanking. You need to put yourself out there a bit, but not too much. And then put yourself out of there. And then someone else is on the line. And then they need to do the same. They need to put themselves out of the line and put someone else on the line. By the time that guy is done, you're back up. What that does is literally creates no ships dying in your team while all three of your ships Enemy cruiser destroyed. still being active with their guns. So you have three ships firepower, nobody's dying. All three ships are constantly being active or for the most part being active, but nobody's dying. And then it's who can who can pretty much outplay who? Who's going to be able to make sure that their ships stay alive longer and the enemy team starts losing their ships? And then it's like 3v2. And then if you continue managing your ship and cycling the HP and the tanking and everything, and scouting and being the front man, the middle man, the back man, the support, the pusher, if you manage to support, uh, balance all of that, properly then you're gonna outlast the enemy team and you're gonna break them you're gonna win you're even going to win fights which you were 2v4 3v4 1v3 1v2 whatever because you were definitely managing your ship better but if you're playing like this for example where your dds your cruisers and stuff you know they're the ones at front but you're the battleship in the back what's your purpose what is your purpose right now I mean, sure, I'm not saying that this particular guy is doing something stupidly wrong or anything. He might just decide to go and reinforce this flank and he's just on the way there. But he would be hell of a lot more useful if he was like here supporting when I was killing that destroyer or closer. I'm just saying, giving the example. You need to be with your team. You can't think that you're the natural born god-blessed individual that's been chosen to to live forever and that your ship matters so much more than everybody else's because by that logic my ship is probably worth hell of a lot more than most people's ships here right because i'm such a good player and then i'm never going to expose myself or do anything that would jeopardize my life because i have the most value and yet, I'm always the one up front. You can't play selfishly and expect to win. And just complain about your teammates. That's not how shit works. Oh, damn, that Henry's fast. Thank God he decided to turn away. I just played all I got set on fire and snapped from range while my team ran away. Yeah, the problem is that we've gotten to a place where a lot of people have a really, really crappy con misconception on how to play the game. And now they think that this is how it's supposed to be. And then Wargaming keeps kind of going in line with that by introducing these kind of ships that are literally promoting that kind of wrong gameplay and yeah. some people will prefer sniping some people will prefer brawling some people will prepare prefer to be in the middle but you can't afford you just can't afford to be constantly up front or constantly in the back if you're constantly up front you will constantly end up dead to those of you in the chat, or YouTube, or wherever you're watching this, um, and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I'm definitely always up front and I'm getting myself killed. Then you're, you're, you're the one tanking too much. You're the one up front all the time. You can't afford to be the front man all the time. Trust me, you can't. You need your teammates to jump in 
when the time is right. If you're the guy constantly <coughs> in the back, never tanking, you can't afford to do that either. Sure, you're gonna be still winning and losing some games. Regardless of what you do, that's simply the nature of, of games. But you can't afford to constantly be in the back. Because your team needs you. Even if your team is shit, you still need to do the best you can for your team to have a chance of winning. You know how they say that nothing is good in, in two big portions? Everything needs to be dozed. The same goes with sniping and pushing and everything in between. The, the biggest sort of a mystery f about this game like the final and last piece of the puzzle that's gonna separate really good players from really bad players is balancing everything. You need to know, you need to read the situation, you need to understand when is it time to push, when is it time to fall back. And then act accordingly. If you're pushing too much, you'll die too much. If you're sniping too much, then you just won't tank enough for your team. And if you have five more teammates like you, other six are dead and then it's like 12 with six and it's game over. It's a ruffle stomp. You need to find the proper balance between pushing, kiting, tanking, sniping, Pretty much everything. I have a feeling this guy is gonna do just that, yeah. Okay, well, judging by the time, he's not gonna have enough time to kill me if I simply play this like this. Good luck trying to kill me now, motherfucker. There we go. Th that's like the ultimate advice that I could give you without pinpointing exactly how to play, where to play, what to do. It it's literally, that's the last step that anyone takes once they understand how good or a bad of a player they are, what they do, how they do it and stuff. The last step you take to being a pro, a really good player, is knowing when and how much. Looking at the minimap, reading the situation and being two steps ahead of what's gonna happen. You, you see that there's like three versus five, you see that the enemy team is about to push, you see your positions, you see where you can fall back to or you can't, and you make a call. This flank is going to collapse, we will not be able to sustain 3v5, we need to stop pushing, we need to start kiting, we need to start extracting. If we do this in 60 seconds, it's going to be too late and we're going to be dead. We need to do this now. We needed to do this 30 seconds ago. Act on it. Choose a proper moment, find a proper path and start kiting. And then you observe the situation and then you see, oh, the enemy team is kind of getting disoriented. These guys are continuing to push us. Two ships are continuing to push us. Three are continuing to run away. Um, from those three, one is not even here. Two are not looking. Now we need to start stop kiting, turn around, counter push, kill these two guys that are still pushing us as if they were five as fast as we can and win the cap back and make those three guys be like, oh shit, we actually lost this side? And then they have to push and then you kite again and something like that. It's not easy. 
It's not easy. But you can't be a one-dimensional player. I mean, you can. Technically, you can. But if you want to improve, if you want to get good, you have to be very, very multi-dimensional player. You need to be able to put yourself on the line and, and understand, okay, I've taken enough. I need a break. Find a way to disengage. Let somebody else take over. And, and the more people that start doing that, the better more fun and engaging games we're gonna have and less ruffle stumps if you take a look at pro, uh, pro competitive gaming in world of warships like for example twa which is one of the best teams in the world currently the best team in the world and like one thing that they're really good at which is what back in the day omni was really good at and then every other team that was very successful what are they really good at they're really good at keeping their ships alive. They will DPM the crap out of you, but they will keep their ships alive. Like back in the days when I was playing, you could literally have all seven of us on 10% of HP. But all seven are still alive. And the enemy, dead. They have four dead and, I don't know, three full HP or whatever. Or all dead. Like, you were preserving your ships... When the time came for them to stop taking the damage, you conceal them, you expose somebody else. And then the, the enemy is just chipping a lot of damage, but they're not getting the kills. And that's where the focus fire comes in and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. Think about your game style, your, your, your play style, how you, how you do stuff, and try, try to adjust yourself in the battle. And I know that sometimes you're going to be like, fuck this. This is not worth it. My team just abandoned me. Yeah. But try to be different. Anyway, hopefully that helps.